Good old Rose will. Oh, the SCM01. Yeah, oh, you know this case. No, I don't. Oh, okay. Okay, so should we start with, should we start with that? Yeah, let's uh, take it out of the box, I guess. Like the idea here is we're just gonna build this thing. Yeah. Okay, and you've never built it before. Nope. So a lot of the time when writers prepare a video, they they do a lot of the preparation. Yeah, I heard uh, that they do that. Ahead of time. Uh-huh. But today we're just YOLOing it. Yeah, well that I mean it's it's fun to prepare, but you know, it's it's fun to keep life spicy too. That sounds like uh, that sounds like mistake number two. <laughs> we're gonna have a mistake counter. Yeah, yeah. High-end PCs are pretty cool. Yeah, they, they can trace rays with the best of them, but they have one major problem. They're expensive. Mm. Most people don't think about yeah, that. Yeah, that's what we're here for. But we did. So we set out to build the least expensive PC possible with components that we could buy on amazon.com. Yep. I literally went to Amazon.com, searched the name of the component, sorted by price, and ordered whatever was cheapest at that time. And this is it. So it's time to figure out whether what we ordered was an actual PC or whether we made a horrible mistake. Okay, so I couldn't just go to Amazon.com and literally pick the cheapest option because they have to be compatible. Compatible. If this is the cheapest case, and this is the cheapest board, <laughs> then we're just going to have to put them together. It's only fair. So this is a LGA 775 socket motherboard. It's a Dell uh, PowerEdge server board. Okay. Yes. So, and that's gonna be compatible. 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 compatible with our CPU, which is a Core 2 Duo E8400 from Intel. Are you sure? What? That that's gonna be compatible? Most server boards from that generation were LGA 771. That is a good point. I've never seen that before. And this is a locking floppy disk. Oh, cool. This is locking IDE. Oh, cool. Do you wanna come in and get some close-ups of this <laughs> Jeez, Linus, I'm so sorry. Oh my God. So this is an Insignia. It doesn't weigh much more than the box, does it? <laughs> Try it. Oh, wow. You know what, I since I'm tired of being uh, uh, dumped on, look at this, it's a hard drive. It's probably perfectly functional. I'm pretty sure it's new. Why are you asking me questions like that? I, just, I didn't know they still made 160 gig hard drives. We have a single DDR2 dim that is two gigs. Big. <laughs> this is not ECC and this is no. a server board. Oh my God. No, it's, it should, it should oh. And that says memory, ECC DDR2. Wait, 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 chipset, that's not the socket. Wait, front side bus, 800 megahertz for Pentium 4. Well, hold on a second. This might actually be 775, but oh my God, this is a Pentium board. Uh, I don't believe this will work with a Core 2 Duo. <sighs> The graphics card is a blazing fast AMD Radeon 6350. All right, how much did this cost us? This cost us a whopping, actually, 2888. Wow. It's the most expensive part out of all of them, which is great news to hear when it might not even work. Uh, you know this is not DVI, right? Yeah, this is a different port that is everyone knows is not DVI. You have actually done something today that hasn't happened in a while. You've shown me three tech things that I have never seen before hey! in a single sitting. That could be the title of the video. I've never seen this before. This port, these like uh, doohickeys. doohickeys on the IDE things, yep. this uh, cooler mount. Oh, you've never seen that? I've never seen that See, before. See, and I've never seen it either. Yeah. Well, we do have some other processors that might work, Linus. Look at this wonderful selection of Pentiums and okay. one Celeron. So a lot of these are newer. Um, new Pentium, old Pentium. Pretty la different. Okay, here's what I think we have to do. We nope. have to order the cheapest one from Amazon. That's true. We have to stay true. We have to, yeah, to our stand, video. stand strong. 
Okay, so then there's gonna be some movie magic. Yeah. And uh, we'll get back to this next week, I guess. So this is attempt number two. Wait, this is the old stuff. Are we even using this anymore? That's the, yeah, no, we're not using that. Put that away, I never wanna see it again. This is also meant for a pre-built system. Right. But as you can see, it's a little more of a normal uh, layout motherboard meant yes. for, it's a regular micro ATX form factor. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It actually has front panel connector pins yep, on it. So which we can short. Yeah, we're gonna have to guess at them a little bit, but at least there's something to guess at. Indeed. Um, wow, even a PCI Express 16X slot this time. Good job, I Riley. I did it, I did it. You've still this got the, same. the graphics card of Doom here. Same AMD Radeon 6350 with a DMS connector. So we know what the connector's called DMS now. 59. DMS 59. DMS 59. DMS gonna <laughs> give it to you. Uh, what? Yeah. Yeah. No. This connector, uh, curiously, is one that's meant to drive two displays by default. Um, so that's why both adapters go from one DMS 59 uh, and to two of the other thing. Yeah. VGA, all digital interface. Ooh, ooh. Okay, what else did we change? Okay, and the last one we got, we changed was the uh, RAM. We have real DDR2 uh, non-ECC RAM. Cool. Because that was the problem. We had a server board, it was only compatible with ECC RAM. Also, this is DDR3. You know this, right? What? <laughs> what are you talking about? I haven't written in the script DDR3, all right? I'm just... Okay, so everything's here. Yep. Should we build it? I I hope we can. They 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 fit in the holes. It's like they were actually designed to fit together. <laughs> pow. Yeah. Boom. Pa pow. <laughs> yeah. Dual channel, baby. Um, uh, four gigs of RAM. Yep. We paid eight dollars for four gigs last time. Right. And now we're up to eighteen. Eighteen. So ten dollars okay. more for. So DDR3. we paid an extra thirteen dollars, but. To make, for it to be plus compatible. the adapters, which I actually don't have in here. Minor details. But I think they were like $3. Hey, okay. It's kind of coming together now. Looks like this might be a PC. <gasps> I mean, that's not a great indicator. But it's on. Which is farther than we got last time. Sweet music. Yeah, oh man, I need like a piece of tape or something. It's so annoying. What, new RAM? Yeah, it's worth a shot. I honestly don't think it's RAM though. Let's give it a shot. This is pretty much our most compatible DDR3 RAM, this Rip, uh, Rip Jaws Z stuff. Okay, everybody. Okay, so I got a tray full of LGA, I think they're LGA 775 Pentiums, and yeah, this one's not. the $69 gaming this? PC, because that, I think it had an E7500 in it, but we'll oh. see. Yeah. Okay. Should we, sure. Should we try yeah. it? Let's. Uh, yeah, room there. You know what? That seems promising. That is. Yes. That's an E7500. Oh. Well, let's try that first. Aha. Uh -huh. Do we know that this one works? It was. That was what was originally in the $69 gaming PC. Great. I was there. And I was there too. All right. Um, yeah. Screw it. I, mean, I don't even have to put the heat sink on to know if this worked any better. Okay, can I have the RAM from $69 gaming PC too? Let's just, <laughs> eventually we just put all the components in here. <laughs> Samsung, Samsung quality here. What? It's a different beep. Why? It's a different beep. This is HP OEM memory. Anthony checked it. Anthony should have known better. That's, I'm the upset. Memory, the memory you had Riley <laughs> buy was HP memory. No, 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 no. Okay, wait, I don't want to get it. <laughs> OEM system builders f you in a couple of different ways. Wait, oh, first okay. they f you with their motherboard, making it not compatible with other things. Mm -hmm. Then they f you with your upgrade components because they want you to buy their specific upgrade compatible thing uh -huh. to put in their system, but then they also f you again when you try and buy their thing and put it in some other system. So every memory module has what's called an SPD chip, and what that has is all the information that the system needs about the memory. 
and they can actually program it in such a way that it's like, right. oh, that's not the system I was expecting. <laughs> now, I'm not saying that that was necessarily what happened here because this board also spat out that G-Skill memory. Yeah. So it could be the board f***ing us, but it could also have been the memory f***ing us. Either way. Okay, so we're gonna put the E7500 aside for now. Oh. We're gonna put your Core 2 Duo oh. back in here and see if that works. Hey! Yeah! Yeah, yeah! I want to put this RAM back in. Just to see. Nope! No. You ready for a graphics card? I am ready for this. Did you, I mean, you must have known. You must have known that this is what this video was. No, not really! <laughs> you thought it would be smooth? Smooth sailing? Buy the cheapest thing, you told me, go buy the cheapest thing you can possibly find on Amazon. And you thought it'd be hunky-dory? I, honestly, what I kind of expected was for you to buy the cheapest brand new things. <coughs> <coughs> and so I had meant the cheapest thing in a given category, but like... From 2018. New. Yeah, like in well, a box with a manual and an IO shield. And stuff. Well, we could do that. That'd be a different video. Yeah, yeah, we could. <laughs> cheapest PC on Amazon, part two. I swear it's less cringe this time. <laughs> Um, oh my god. Hey, not bad. Is it gonna make it all the way to the desktop? Linus! Tech tips. Tech tips! I am vindicated. Is welcome. Welcome to a functioning yes. PC. Do we have gigabit LAN? You can it is, it's gigabit. Oh, it's man. Broadcom and Net Extreme Gigabit. That's, that's the good kind. It's extreme! Extreme! <laughs> okay, so the first thing we want to know is what exactly the crap graphics card this is. I know what it is. I have that information. He, look, he can actually look it up faster than I can check in Device Manager <laughs> because of how slow this thing is. It's a Radeon 6350. Turns out this is actually a Radeon 5450. So it might have been mislabeled on your uh, listing there, but that's what it shows up. I got swindled. Get him! <laughs> nice, dude. A 95% CPU. Huh. Okay. Let's move on. Let's move on. Let's move. Dota 2. Dota 2 was what we really wanted here. You know, we we do this and figure stuff out so you don't have to, guys. We save you from having to deal with eight frames per second in the loading screen. You thought Anthem was bad. It still is. 30 29. frames per second, 720p, second lowest settings. I don't know, there's three main characters on screen. There's not that many, there's not that much going on. No, there's really not much But going still, on. like this is playable for a MOBA, like 30 frames a second. Yeah, with bots. Offline, it's playable. That's true. Bump the, bump the settings down to lowest. Can you do that in game? Well, we're up to 50. Wow, and it looks even worse somehow. <laughs> at the lowest settings and 720p. Okay, let's try uh, Rocket, League. Rocket League. All right, 30 FPS. Hey. 30 FPS in the menu. Okay. All right. Let, okay. Wow, it's Wow, like, it looks really bad. Oh, you better go 2v2 here, sir. I might go, wait, where is it? Bot difficulty, unfair, 1v3. Oh yeah? Okay. <laughs> Oof. You're, still, you're getting 30 FPS though, so I don't want to hear no excuses here, bud. Oof. Oh my gosh, this is like, I, I feel like I'm on drugs right now. <laughs> <laughs> oh, no, no, no! No, we're good, we're good, we're good, we're good. Good-ish. Dude. Good is all relative. This is really bad. <laughs> Can you beat three unfair bots? I have. Whoa! <laughs> This is a clinic, folks. This is how it's done. Look at this. Look at this. This is gonna score the long ball. Oh, he put the car in the net. All right, sports fans. This is why we all watch the game. Oh, chipper, chipper. So what we're discovering here is that unless you're gonna meet a certain sort of threshold for how much you're gonna spend, there are certain components that are expensive to buy standalone, like a case just because of the logistics of the thing. 
is never gonna cost below a certain amount. You gotta, you gotta ship it and stuff. Whereas when you buy it as part of a bundle, it might contribute very little of the value of the total PC, as we saw with the $69 gaming PC. So we stand by our previous recommendation for low budget gamers. Rather than trying to go on a retail site like Amazon, buy all the cheapest stuff, slap it together and hope that you can get it working, we'd really recommend doing what we did last time, buying an already working computer and then if you've got the budget for it, even down the line, applying a few choice upgrades in order to smooth out the experience. Because this was $150, just all the parts by itself, and that computer was 30 bucks, plus 30 bucks, plus another 60 bucks for a GPU. Yeah. 120 bucks altogether, and we got was a good gaming experience. That was a way better gaming experience. Way this is better. Terrible. Yeah. And for those of you out there being like, oh, but, but, but Linus, not everything is about gaming. Trust me, it's terrible for everything else too. So thanks for watching, guys. Uh, really, thank you for watching. Thank you for accompanying <laughs> us on this painful, painful oh. journey. But we had fun, didn't hey, we? Hey, I learned a lot. We had fun. If you guys dislike this video, you can hit that button. But if you liked it, hit like, get subscribed, or maybe consider checking out where to buy the stuff we featured at the link in the video description. Also down there is our merch store, which has cool shirts like this one and our community forum, which you should totally join. By the way, Anthony sent me an email, said he was exonerated by an email that he found. Oh, that's true. Where apparently I <laughs> signed off on the memory. I, I confess, I never clicked the link. Yeah. And the listing for it did not specify that it was HP specific, system specific RAM, so. I'm exonerated too. So everyone's exonerated. Wow. Except the Amazon seller that shipped us these. Yeah, stay away from them. Yeah, buttheads. <laughs>